Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the uh, input keyboard app called Flexi. Right before I get to that, I do want to remind you that this review is sponsored in part by AndyTags.com. AndyTags.com is the best place on the internet to get really cool Android themed NFC tags, NFC stickers, NFC keychains for use with your Android phone, which if you bought it in the last two or three years, probably has NFC. So head over to AndyTags.com after the review, check out all the cool things you can do with NFC and pick up some of those. Anyway, getting right to Flexi. Flexi is a new uh, keyboard app. Well, it's new to me um, and relatively new in the market. Uh, pretty innovative, uh, interesting uh, concept and way that it works. Um, let's hop on my phone. I'll show you how it works and kind of give you my opinion on uh, how I feel about it in comparison to uh, some of the other keyboard apps that are out there and that I've reviewed in the past. So let's hop on my phone and uh, check it out. Okay, so there you see the Flexi app right there by my thumb. So uh, let's just open it up and you'll see you do have tutorials, they have speed games which you can, I don't know why anyone wants to play a game with the keyboard but you can and obviously people have because they have records so some people have more time on their hands than I do. Um, dictionary which uh, allows you to add words or see the words that you have added by using uh, the keyboard. Uh, My Flexi, which is just to connect to your various accounts. Um, as you can see, I've connected to SMS and Facebook, sort of like Swift Key does to sort of allow it to learn uh, your patterns. Uh, and then your badges. Again, this is one of the things I don't really care about, but they give you badges for using it in a certain way and doing certain things. Um, and now we're going to go into look and feel, and this is where you get into the meat of it. Um, you see you have different uh, colors you can use for the keyboard. So, you've got the bluish, the greenish, your standard white, and your standard dark, which is the default, which I think is the best looking one. Uh, then you also have regular three different sizes, uh, the original size, and then small size, and then tiny. I think the small size is closer to the standard size of most keyboard apps. Um, or the original size seems a little bit big to me. It, see, it takes up quite a bit of screen real estate, so I tend to use the small. Um, you can have case sensitive layout. You can have a visible keyboard, we'll go back to that in a minute. And then you can choose the typing sounds or not and how loud you want them to be. Key press vibration, how long you want that to be, spacebar vibration and how long you want that to be. So let's uh, just start typing on it and I'll show you how it works. So you see, as I'm typing, it's predicting what I'm saying. Uh, to, spit, to insert a punctuation mark, I'm just an extra space. Anytime you want to change something, you just swipe up to go back to what it was before, or swipe down to go to the next thing on the list here. So, if you want to delete a word, you can just go back like this, and this is something in the settings I'll show you in a minute. So now, let's say I type the wrong thing. Um, See, when I type a random word, it's going to try to guess what I'm saying. It thinks I might have wanted to type the word gay. If I wanted to change that to something else, the next word, you just swipe down and it goes to the next word on the list. Now, if you type, um, if the word you wanted was the word you wanted, you just swipe up and it goes back to that. Uh, so even if you are typing a word that isn't actually a word, you can swipe up that tells it, hey, I want to keep that word. But if you swipe down, and it goes to the next word in the list. And then when you're 
then you hit the space bar again and it gives you a punctuation and this likewise you can go through the different punctuations by swiping. Now of course you do have your number board where you can also get to your numbers and your punctuation uh, and your symbols and then back to letters. You also uh, you have your capitalize if you want to uh, uh, have uh, a permanent shift for capitalization you hold it down and it turns blue so you know that now it's going to be everything is going to be in full caps uh, let's so works good for that one thing I have found that it is not necessarily good at is if you type extra letters um, so correcting it's good at maybe guessing the word let's say a word that has five letters and you type five letters but you hit the wrong letter but if it's a word that has five letters and you type six letters by accident because you don't know how in the world it's spelled then it may have a problem um, let's uh, see if I can give you an example here um, I'm going to type control but I'm going to uh, you see now I ha spelled control but I just spelled it with two L's instead of one L and because I did that you'll see because I did that its guess was that I maybe wanted to spell homeroom or cohering or foothill um, none of which control is not even an option so it's it's good at if you are typing the word uh, close to right but it's not the best at just uh, spell spelling correct um, if you add any extra letters uh, because you really don't know how to spell it or you just accidentally hit a letter then what it, it won't even come close so that's the area that I have found that it doesn't seem to work as well for me as maybe SwiftKey does. Um, but you saw the first phrase I typed and it does do a good job uh, overall. I would say it's pretty innovative. Uh, what it's trying to do is not pay attention to the letters you hit, but pay attention to the pattern that you're typing. Um, so you could hit the wrong letter, but if the pattern is, is right, then it works and that's why it's supposed to work well even with invisible keyboard so let's check invisible keyboard so now there is no keyboard see it didn't get so and now right but it got there is right and it got keyboard right because it's even though I don't I can't see the letters I'm just going by my memory the pattern of where I know these letters are and it's reading my patterns and that is actually how it works it works by trying to recognizing the pattern uh, of the keys in relation to each other and figuring out what you mean um, as I mentioned the problem is when you don't know how to spell maybe it's not the best to spell it correcting and obviously like it, using the invisible keyboard is hard because uh, even if you are a good typer and kind of know where all the letters are uh, you know if you're one letter off it could totally change the word or just a little bit off so there is that um, let's go back to the regular now if you're using the big keyboard it's probably uh, easier to type the right things because it's so big but uh, uh, let's see So you saw, even though I didn't hit the right letters for typing, it knew that I meant typing. So it is a good job, and I've been using it for uh, several days. And like I said, I, 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 I probably I'm going to keep with it a few days. Right now, I'm leaning towards going back to Swift Key. Um, I do miss the ability to swipe. Um, it's just really hard to type with one hand um, if you just want to use your thumb for example or you're in a situation where you're trying to your phone is sitting on the ground and you're trying or on a table and you're trying to use your finger one handed to type then uh, it's easier to swipe than it is to try to hit uh, individual letters um, but for thumb typing uh, and handheld it's it's pretty cool so let's go back to small and let me go back and show you the other features it has in advanced this is where you can decide a few extra things um, auto correct errors import contacts uh, swipe left deletes the word correct space errors um, voice feedback if you have that turned on then it literally reads every word you type 
um, and every punctuation it says out loud and uh, yeah I can't imagine any good reason for doing that but uh, you can you know it's there if you want it smart spacing and auto capitalization and swap the enter delete buttons so you do have those options in there as well and uh, that really is about it um, the tutorial when you first open it it'll go through that automatically kind of show you how it works and uh, so you can uh, uh, get the hang of it but uh, that's uh, that's really about all there is to say about Flexi um, in terms of a keyboard uh, it's a good concept I would say if this keyboard had come out a couple of years ago it would be at the top of my list um, but uh, Swift Key and Swipe both have just gotten so good uh, you know they've been around a long time they've got really amazing algorithms for predicting your next word this doesn't predict your next word the way that Swift Key does which sometimes allows you to not even have to type anything because the word you want is already there and you can just hit it and continue on uh, so you know Swift Key is still my top choice but if you uh, maybe have tried that and don't like it or you just want to try out something new then I would say give definitely give Flexi a, a, a look uh, install it check it out it might uh, it might just be the best keyboard for you that was Flexi uh, keyboard new keyboard app or newer keyboard app for your Android phone and as you can see it's a pretty cool keyboard um, it's worth a try uh, check it out see if you like it for you um, for me I'm still on the fence with it but uh, I, I think I still like Swift key a little bit better um, especially just having the swipe option is great for when you're trying to type one-handed um, which is impossible to do really any other way well so uh, but it is a good keyboard and it is new it will probably get better and better with time as it gets more updates but that's flexi keyboard if you know anyone who might be interested in trying it out please share this video with them you can do that on facebook twitter reddit google plus all those fun ways that are down there um, check out my channel for a ton of other android app reviews try to you know keep you guys informed of the best android apps that are out there also have product reviews dog product reviews tasker tutorials nfc tutorials so lots to check out over there subscribe to my channel or the playlist that you're interested in and uh, that is about it click that like button if you like this review and if you don't like this review then i guess you can click the unlike button but unless you're mean why would you do that anyway uh that's it for this review until next time remember your android phone is only going to be as good as you make it